welcome everyone and um, we hope everyone's doing well and staying safe and staying sane. Uh, we just wanted to bring you our lovely Kali Yonka and um, just some of the things that she has to say from, from Lockdownville. So my name is Kita and um, yeah, welcome Kali. Thanks Kita, thank you. <laughs> so um, I just have a couple of questions, we're going to keep it quick. Uh, firstly, I wanted to know um, how important is work-life balance to you and do you manage it? Yeah, um, Kita, I mean, I think work-life work balance is everything in my life. Um, as a mother of three children, a wife to my husband, an employee, a leader to my team, um, everything needs to be balanced, otherwise nothing will work properly. So work-life balance is definitely important to me. And I guess, I mean, it takes a lot of planning to actually get that balance right. Um, another thing that is quite important for me is boundaries. So for my children, um, there has to be boundaries that I can get some work done. And then for work, I mean, they need to also understand that a happy family is then also a happy me, which can then produce proper work. So it is the work-life balance is definitely important. And in my life, I mean, I can just say that the only way I can get that balance right is by planning properly. Okay, cool. Thank yeah. you. And then also, uh, so this is, this is a COVID one. How have you been in dealing with lockdown? Have you been dealing firstly? And have there been any coping mechanisms? Do you have any new hobbies that you've tried out? Yeah, so I mean, in a little bit of sharing of my stories, we had family that came to visit from Canada just before lockdown so that first three weeks they couldn't get back so in my household we were two two families um and then we had to develop the online course and but it was a in retrospect it was quite a blessing having to, to have them here because my kids just loved it and it was their cousins and it was lovely but um since then they they then left in that first three weeks and then the real life started where i then had to as i said became a primary school teacher that i've never done before i had to be a mom i still had to be a wife and we had to roll out this whole online program and i guess if we look if i look back and um what happened to our team is I mean, it is, it's new for everyone. So I had to be sort of the pillar to the team, I had to give some guidance, make decisions. I think decision making during these uncertain times was quite an important thing. And then obviously, I think the big thing for me during this lockdown period was not to get overwhelmed. Um, I find that if you speak to most people, their first reaction is, oh, so overwhelmed. And I think that was sort of my motto is not to get overwhelmed because then you can you can assist others not to get overwhelmed and just break down everything you need to do into little bits and then you'll get it done. So yeah, I mean, lockdown was a, a on the one hand, it was really positive to just sort of get back to um, a little bit more of the not being so rushed every day and um, yeah, just see what is important to you as a person. But then, the, I mean, it came with all of its challenges and all of the, everything was new and different. But um, yeah, we've been into it for a few months, block one, or one block online is done, and um, we've learned a lot. So yeah, so that, and then in terms of the, the hobbies, I mean, yeah, on a daily basis, um, we, we, we do something different as we I walked with the kids and the dogs. Um, I did a little bit of online Pilates twice a week, which was interesting. Um, yeah, a new thing that, that I started doing was playing a bit of tennis. And then what we did a lot is biking with the kids in the afternoons or in the evenings. So that wasn't always a good thing. Um, so then we had to walk and do Pilates as well. But I think, I mean, if I, if I look back and my message to the students will be that, I mean, everything is doable um, in this uncertain time, but you need to, to plan properly, you need to break things down so that it's not this massive chunk of uncertainty and content and everything you need to deal with. Take things step by step. And I, I guess the, the other most important thing is, like I said, don't feel overwhelmed. Um, you are capable and equipped 
of doing what you have to do and stay focused and positive. Cool. Thank you so much, Carly. Yeah. It's a pleasure, Kita. All the best. All the best to you too. Thank you. Bye.